In this paper, we present a vision-based system that enables reactive human-to-robot transfers of unknown objects. Our system takes in RGBD images as input. These are then used to compute the point cloud, and then we use the Azure Body Tracker to identify where the human is. We can use this to crop the hand point cloud. At the same time, we use the hand segmentation network to decide which pixels belong to the human's hand versus the rest of the scene. Together, we get a segmentation mask of which points belong to the hand and which points belong to the object. The object points are sent to 6.graspnet, which generates graphs or refines them from the last time step conditioned on the object point cloud to make sure they're consistent over time. These graphs are then sent to reactive task execution. As we execute, we repeatedly choose the best grasp available based on a manually designed heuristic, shown in red here. We, we repeatedly update this as the robot approaches the grasp until it reaches an acceptable grasp point, at which point it will take the object from the human. We did a systematic evaluation with a set of different objects and different changes in pose and orientation. Our system is robust to different grasps and different orientations. Finally, we did a user study on a set of 26 household objects with six participants. These are split between two different subsects, household A and household B, for two rounds of experiments. In the first round, participants were asked to hand over objects in a certain order. We reported the success rate, time, and number of attempts. On average, the system could take the, every object in less than two trials. In the second set, users were asked to choose five objects from household B, a large set of diverse objects. A wide range of objects was chosen and successfully handed over to the robot. At the end of the user study, we asked participants to hand over objects they found either in a lab or among their own personal belongings. Please see the paper for more details and more feedback from the users about the performance during this experiment.